Hello everybody, this is just a quick video to cover an issue that might come up occasionally, and that's the use of deprecated HTML tags. That is, those that have been phased out in the evolution of HTML. Now this can happen when older style tags find their way into your code. These tags have generally been phased out because they either no longer serve any purpose, or because they have been updated and replaced by more functional HTML tags or are handled by style sheets, which can take on lists, bullet points, spacing, color, and other similar visual effects. Now are HTML tags like milk in your fridge just bound to go bad over time? Is this some conspiracy by the HTML makers forcing us to buy a new version of their new product every year? Well, no. While back in the day HTML was originally intended to be cross-platform, for instance, to be read aloud by speech browsers or show up in text-only browsers, or be rendered in your average browser, all with the same code, times change. The font tag, for instance, serves no purpose in a speech browser, and a speech browser can't tell the user how much spacing there is after an element, or what size bullet point is being used, and so on. So all of those visual cues are now being handled outside of HTML within your style sheets. So using those tags now is just a way to bloat your inline code with completely useless, or worse, confusing old language. CSS, the most common style sheet language, is basically a list of visual values and their various properties, and it was created by the same team that brought you all those HTML standards in the first place. So that's just one area where tags have become deprecated, but there are plenty of other tags that have become deprecated for other reasons. These are tags like uh, base font to set font styles, which is no longer supported by HTML5, or other font styles like S or strike for strike through text, which are now generally accomplished with font style sheets. And besides, using style sheets instead of bloated inline code is better anyway. It also allows more flexibility without sacrificing any functionality and accessibility. And there are other deprecated tags like center to align an element in the center, including tables, which are now primarily a thing of the past, when centering is now generally accomplished with the div style of text align center, even for elements that are not using text. Using the relative or absolute positioning, or working with margins in your CSS, is also more accurate and more common to use. Now not just tags, but plenty of HTML attributes have also become deprecated, like the background attribute within your body, type or value attributes with a list, color and a font tag, and many, many more. Avoiding deprecated tags and attributes is critical. While in some cases you won't see the effect right away since most browsers should still support them, it's really only a matter of time. Eventually, it's very possible that these tags won't be supported at all, and your amazing new website might end up looking really goofy. So, as with all things code, you should keep your coding language up to date. Just to hammer that point home, here are just a few tags that used to be fairly commonplace that are no longer supported by HTML5. These tags would need to be updated or handled by your CSS. Now, by all means, if you want to take the time and do the research yourself, you can search for and find plenty of lengthy lists of deprecated tags and attributes. But hey, time is money and you've probably got better things to do. And that's where you're in luck because SEO Site Checkup will comb through your code for you and highlight your potentially problematic tags. So after running my website on SEO Site Checkup, I can see that I've got some deprecated HTML tags in my site's code. Well, fortunately, just the one, but I can see it's been used three times. In this case, if I click on How to Fix, I'll get a very tiny summary of everything I've just told you. It's pretty simple. Identify the deprecated tag or tags, which we've done here for you and replace them with updated tags or handle that attribute in your CSS. In this particular case, I've got the U tag, which is used to indicate underlined text. Yeah, while most browsers still support this, it was actually deprecated in HTML4, and I'm much better off in the long run if I go ahead and update this. In fact, in some cases, this actually runs the risk of being confused with a hyperlink. So instead of the U tag, assuming that I have a style sheet linked to my HTML here, I'll want to handle underline text there. So in my CSS, I'll add an underline attribute. In my case, I'd prefer to include this as one of my headings. Let's call this H5, and add text decoration underline. Now in my HTML, I'll update that tag accordingly. And now I'm all set. I won't run into any issues with that text being rendered improperly. I can now rest at night, knowing that my HTML tags are fresh-faced and up-to-date with the latest standards. 
Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.